Praise the Lord. Number two, the lockdown. He may have the reward to cut the jambal. Ata kama ni mekua kupi ya mwezi moja. Ni mekua na mpendo moja mbao na panya kazi kwa hoteli ya pakari. Ni mekua kwa ofisi yangu kuzunguliza tu. Haka ni ambia sasa kuna lockdown na hezi kuenda kwa. Yuko hapa na hoteli wali ambia waende mbao. And you can see the kind of thing it is. Kwa hapa na mkua kwa hapa kwa hini. On our job, you know, in a funny way, to raise a quamp by a quamp. Katika, you are a son of moon, I know a lockdown in India, Mungu Akatembele, what work. When I do a Katia Kitabu, I join in a semi quamba, kill a hero, do no, 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 na zaidi wana sio sana wana sio wapendwa kwa hivyo tukaweze kuomba ya kwamba wapendwa wakaweze kuja kwa ibada na pia hasara tumepata Mungu atarekesha katika jina la Yesu tuchukue muda pambio moja tuweze kuomba Eocha huyu Yesu inachua yeye Inachua yeye ni mwema O ni meoncha Ni meoncha huyu Yesu Inachua yeye ni mwema O ni nachua, nachua
na hata umetuwezesha kuiona nafasi hii ni asante ni kwa maana Jehovah Jire hauja tuachilia mfano wa ajabu baba despite the fact that Lord ni wengi wamehudia mfalme my Lord and my Savior you have been faithful you have been faithful in our lives oh God you have been faithful that you are Lord in our families you have been faithful dear Father and this morning we bow before you to worship you this morning we bow before you to honor you this morning we bow before you to magnify your holy name oh God because you have been wonderful to us oh God you have been gracious to us my Father you have preserved us oh God umetulinda Jehovah umetukinga kutokana na magonjwa umetukinga kutokana na maumivu umetukinga baba kutokana na mambo mengi maovu umetuwezesha kuiona siku hii ya leo not because of how good or righteous that we have been but only because of your undeserved favor and this morning Lord we bow before you and we repent our sins oh God we pray the Lord you cleanse us with the precious blood of Jesus we pray the Lord you make us acceptable unto your sight we pray the Lord you wash us oh God to kubali te machoni kako mfalme to samehe dhambi zetu Jehovah to takaze na utufi ukalizidishie na nguvu zako jehova ukatupatie mzigo wa kutafuta uso wako jehova ukatupatie mzigo wa kukutii na kukufuata katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunavunja kila nira ya mbovu shetani tunavunja kila wazo la mbovu shetani tunavunja kila siraha ya mbovu shetani tunaharibu mawazo maovu tunaharibu mambo machafu in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare that lord we will conquer because you who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world oh my father hakuna kinacho kushinda wewe haushindwi na lolote wala chochote wewe hulinganishi na lolote mfalme and we declare that we are more than conquerors because of you who is in us my father we worship you dear lord and we glorify your name thank you for our lives oh god thank you for our children thank you for our families thank you for everything that you have given unto us oh god we commit our lives unto you we worship you lord and we magnify your name we worship you dear lord in the name of jesus blessed be the name of the lord he is worthy to be praised and adored so we lift our holy hands in one accord singing blessed be the name blessed be the name
wetu na wale wako katika vyeo za mamlaka bwana sio pepe na kwa hivyo tungelipenda kuombea taifa letu kama ukiangalia kuwa wakati huu usiku huu ambao umekuwa mbaya hakujaesha bila matajiri do you know men of god can pray for rains na zikuje hata kama imechelewa ikuje manake wanyama wa porini wanahitaji nyasi hata ngombe wa porini na kule ndogo wanahitaji nyasi na hata sisi tunahitaji vyakula tunaweza kuomba Mungu akatupatie mvua bwana asante sana bado siasa zetu unaangalia unasoma mambo ya BBI hujui tunaanzia wapi na tunaelekea wapi hata wenye kutupatia hiyo BBI hawajakubaliana ni vipi tunatembea let us pray for our politics tuombea kwamba tutakuwa na amani tufanye shughuli zetu katika njia ya amani hii corona imetukua ikisumbua mara kwa mara tunaweza kuomba ya kwamba Mungu adhiri na hii kitu ya kwamba hii lockdown tuache kufunga fungwa za zote manake zinaadhiri uchumi wa nchi vijana wetu hawana kazi uchumi umedhoofika tukaweze kuombea taifa letu ya kwamba Mungu anatembea kwa taifa letu na kuleta ukuvio that there shall be a revival hata katika mji wa Kristo praise the lord tunachukua wimbo mmoja and as we do that tuinue taifa letu mbele ya Mungu tuombe our president our deputy tuombe police tuombe army tuombe GSU navy air force tukaweze kuombea ma cabinet ministers tuwataje mbele ya Mungu si lazima wataje katika jina lakini ni kuombea kwamba hata legislative council yetu itakuwa ina amani praise the lord as they discuss things they discuss for the welfare of this country wimbo mmoja tawala maisha yetu bwana tawala 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 maisha yetu bwana tawala ewe
za praise and worship lakini kabla tuingie hiyo kwa kwani ile inaitwa spiritual warfare haleluya tunataka kukabiliana na shetani na kumwambia hapa hana nafasi hata kidogo praise the lord praise the lord In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, In the mighty name of Jesus. Pigia Yesu Makofi Jama. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasasa in the next 15 minutes. Nataka tutukwe muda wako praise and to worship the Lord. Amen. Tumeka muda bila ku praise and worship, tumeanza kuwa na kutu, lakini in the name of Jesus, kutu inatoka and we are going to praise the Lord and the heavens and the presence of God is right here. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will bend one. Haleluya bwana asifiwe. Ah natumaini hatujasahau kupiga makofi na kushangilia na kufungua vinywa na kupatia bwana sifa. Haleluya. Eh natumaini hatujasahau sababu chombo ambacho kimezoea kufanya kitu hata kiwekwe mwishowe kikichukuliwa kinajua kufanya ile kazi. Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Haya basi tunapiga shangwe kwa bwana. Tukimuinua bwana asubuhi ya leo kwa maana ametenda makuu.
Heshima na utukufu ni zako Mungu wetu wa mbinguni. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba wetu na Mungu wetu nasema wastahili kupokea siku. Wastahili heshima zote Mungu mwenye nguvu. Hakuna Mungu mwingine wa kufananishwa na wewe Jehova. Katika kiti chako cha enzi umetukuka mbinguni Bwana na duniani. Bwana hakuna mwingine wa kufananishwa na wewe. Metamalaki dunia nzima Jehova. Metamalaki ali zote Mungu wetu wa mbinguni. Metamalaki Bwana na hakuna mwingine wa kufananishwa na wewe Jehova. Uliyekuepo uliyepo na utakaye kuepo milele. Tunakushujudia Bwana siku ya leo. Tunatoa sifa zetu na shukurani zetu mbele zako kwa mema ambayo umeyatenda Bwana. Fadhili zako ni kuu katika maisha yetu. Fadhili zako tumeziona Bwana. Fadhili zako tumeziona Mungu wetu wa mbinguni. Niposa Bwana tumekuja kusema asante. Tumekuja kusema asante Jehova. Tumekuja kusema asante Mungu wetu. Tumekuja kusema asante kwa wema wako. Tumekuja kusema asante kwa wema wako. Tumekuja kusema asante Jehova. Asante Bwana kwa maana wewe ni mwema. Asante kwa maana Mungu unastahili. Umetukuka Jehova heshima zote na utukufu ni zako milele na milele. Bwana pokea shukurani zetu na sifa zetu. Katika jina la Kristo tunaomba tukiamini. Amen. Amen. Ndiyo tukaweze kumuita Lenaji Aja kutupariki na neno Waimbaji msikae mbali sana Na kama hata sijaanza matangazo Sijui kama tunaweza kuproject wimbo wa number 133 Nyimbo za injili 133, is it possible? Ama iweze kani? Ule wimbo ni metembele ya mbali Ni 133, if it is possible tutaimba huo wimbo kabla kumuita mhubiri. He, salamu za baada ya mwezi mmoja. Bwana asiye sana. <laughs> Mtu wazima. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sote ambao tumeweza kuja kwa ibada ya leo. God bless you. Kulikuwa na very very lakini licha na hiyo notice kuwa fupi sana. Umekuja Mungu wetu akubariki. Asante kwa kuja. Na nataka kufanya matangazo yetu na nashukuru ya kwamba tuko hapa tutasikia wale ambao hawako hapo ukipata nafasi mpashe habari mpendwa mwingine ndio tukaweze kuja kwa ibada. Na kesho ni siku ya Jumatatu na tutakuwa hapa saa 12 kama kawaida kwa maombi yetu ya Jumatatu. Kutoka saa 12 hadi saa moja tutakuwa hapa kwa maombi yetu. Kama una nafasi njo tukaweze kutafuta uso wa Bwana kutoka saa 12 hadi saa moja ya jioni. Uh, siku ya Wednesday Jumatano naitwa Jumatano yes Jumatano tutakuwa na midweek service tutakuwa na midweek service uh, ibada yetu ya katikati ya wiki itakuwa kutoka saa 12 hadi saa moja kama kawaida tutakutania hapa wala sio kule kwa multi purpose hall viti vitapangwa hapa tutakuwa hapa tutakuja na kuendelea na kile kile kitabu ambacho tuko nacho ni kitabu cha first samuel first samuel Mikutano yetu ya lunch hour itaendelea. Tutawapumzisha kesho na kesho kutwa. Kwa hivyo Monday na Tuesday tutakuja lakini lunch hour itaanza Wednesday. Kwa nini tunaanza na Wednesday? Ndio tuanze kwa maombi. Wednesday inakuwa siku yetu ya kuomba. Tukuje hapa saa saba hadi saa nane. tuanze hiyo mikutano ya lunch hour kwa maombi. Tuje hapa tutafute uso wa Bwana, alafu tutaendelea Thursday na Friday na ile wiki ingine kama kawaida. So lunch wa zetu zinaanza Wednesday saa saba hadi saa nane. Njoo hapa kama uko available kama uh, unaweza funga kazi yako kwa ufupi njoo hapa tutafute uso wa Bwana. Jumapili ijayo tutakuwa na discipleship class kama kawaida itakuwa kutoka saa nne hadi saa tano katika moja ya vyumba vilivyo hapa nyuma. 
ibada zetu wiki ijayo jumapili ijayo itakuwa kama kawaida uh, ibada yetu ya kwanza itakuwa kutoka saa mbili na nusu hadi saa nne na nusu fast service come one come all kutoka saa tatu na mbili na nusu saa mbili na nusu hadi saa nne na nusu alafu tutakuwa na kipindi cha maombi kutoka saa nne na nusu hadi saa tano saa nne na nusu hadi saa tano tutakuwa na kipindi cha maombezi alafu ibada yetu ya pili itaanza kutoka saa tano hadi saa saba watie wengine moyo wa kuja na Mungu atakuwa kama bwana asifiwe sisi ni watu wa imani ukweli ni ya kwamba uchumi wa taifa letu umedhoofika sana our economy is in tatters lakini licha na hiyo tunaamini Mungu mwaka huu tunaweka rufu praise the lord amen tutaweka hii rufu na kwa hivyo ile fundraising yetu tuliipangia hatubandui unless kuwe na lockdown ingine tarehe ine mwezi wa saba tuko na fundraising yetu kadi ziko tayari tumeprint kadi za wageni wa heshima lakini ujua kwamba kama wewe ni mshirika wa kanisa wewe ni mgeni wa heshima praise the lord now kadi ziko tayari na tutazipeana jumapili ijayo tumepata msiba usio mdogo ni msiba mkubwa sana msiba mkubwa sana sana kutoka mwanzo wa kanisa hili tumekuwa na mchoraji ramali za za kanisa naye ni mchungaji John Kabuki tulianza naye kutoka hata kabla hatujaanza yeye ndio tulikaa naye tukabuni hii kanisa na kaichora tukimwambia vile tunataka na yeye ndio ametuanzishia kutoka mwanzo mpaka pale tumefika sasa lakini kwa bahati mbaya tumempoteza huu mwezi umepita amekufa. Sasa shida ni ya kwamba kabla uh, kuaga kwake alikuwa na michoro yetu yote ya huu mjengo. Tunaamini Mungu kutupatia mwelekeo ya vile tutaweza kuendelea na mtu mwingine wa kutujengea. Manake ndugu yetu Pastor Kabugi si kama kutulipisha alikuwa anatulipisha. Tulikuwa tunampatia kitu kidogo manake anajua hii ni kanisa tunaelewana vile nasema na kulipa architect mjengo kama huu wanaongea na value malipo yao kulingana na value ya ya, 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 ya mjengo na hii ikiwa ni 50 to 55 million unaweza kujua ile percentage watachukua itatumiza hata akasema anachukua 10% that is 5.5 million yeye tumekuwa tukimpatia kidogo na wakati amekuja site visit na tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu atatuelekeza kaweza pata na mtu ambao ana moyo kama wake wa kusaidia kutumalizia pale ambapo pamebaki bwana asante sana nafikiria kumzungumzia yule ambao walikuwa wanafanya kazi pamoja naye yeye sio architect yeye ni structural engineer anaitwa Mutala baada ya muda watu wameomboleza nitampigia simu nione kama tunaweza kukaa chini na yeye tuzungumze na tumuulize kama anaweza kubali kubeba huo mzigo ambao ndugu yetu pastor John Kabuki alikuwa amebeba kwa hivyo zidi na kuomba popote ulipo kuhusu hiyo jambo manake kwetu is a very serious issue. Yeye ndo tulianza naye alikuwa mwanzo wetu na mwisho wetu. Uh, mtu mwingine kuja kabla ya piki pale tulikuwa itachukua muda. Bwana asante sana. Let's pray about that issue. Tupate mtu ambao tutaweza kuflow pamoja bila kutatiza. Manake sio kwamba ni hela tunazo sisi ni watu wa imani. Amen. Amen wapendwa. So tunapomba tuombe hilo jambo. <coughs> tunaamini Mungu kwa huu mjengo we are trusting God na kama vile maandiko yanasema sio kwa uwezo na si kwa nguvu bali ni kwa roho wa Mungu and that's what we are saying hii kazi itafanyika na iishe si manake tuna nguvu wala uwezo but by the spirit of the Lord pigia Yesu makofi amen wahenga walisema kidogo kidogo kinajaza kibaba 
usidharau kile kidogo uko nacho zile 500 kama unazo wewe leta muombe Mungu akuwezeshe na tunaamini ya kwamba huu mjengo tutamaliza in the name of Jesus praise the lord eh, manake sisi ni watu wa ima wa imani tumepata ule wimbo ama hatuko nao tumeupata number 133 kwa nao tunaweza kupata amen tuweke nataka tufanye mambo mawili pamoja ndio tuokoe wakati tutatoa sadaka zetu tunapoimba ndio tukimaliza mhubiri anakuja na anaendelea sawa sawa waimbaji tafadhali tawaomba wale walikuwa hapa wakuje tena nataka tuimbe huo wimbo nimetembelea mbali huo utakuwa wimbo wetu wa kutoa sadaka tutatoa sadaka na huo wimbo tuletoe ile kitabu ya sadaka najua kuna watu wametuma sadaka zao na taifa zao kwa simu yangu kama umetuma god bless you weka tu chini niko nayo hapa kwa simu na asanteni kwa kuwa waminifu kwa kutoa Aa, na ukisikia kusindikiza zile ulikuwa umetoa hata kama una kobole wewe njoo ulete na Mungu atakubariki pia praise the lord tutataka kutoa zaka zetu na sadaka zetu tunapoimba huo wimbo nimetembelea mbali pita unaweza kutuongoza kwa amen ni 133 nimetembelea mbali sasa
tusimame tumkaribishe mnenaji wa siku ya leo nitaomba mke wake ataombea sadaka na wale wametolea anapo pia muombea mwanake anapokuja kutubidumia tuko na mmoja wa wachungaji wetu mpako wa mafuta wa Mungu ndio ana neno la Mungu kwetu siku ya leo tumpigie Yesu makofi tunapomwandika mchungaji wetu wewe na wewe wanapokuja kuja makofi kwa Yesu God. If you are happy to be in the house of God this morning, let us just clap to the Lord and tell God, thank you Lord, you are mighty, you are faithful, there is none like you. We worship God. He is my redeemer. Hakuna mingine kama wewe. Tafadhalini, munaeza kai. As a family, I thank God for this fire he has taken us. We have all the reason to thank God and tell him of his faithfulness. Before I continue, we have our two sons here. Uh, Reynard and Nicholas, just come forward. Reynard and Nicholas, please come. I thank God because he is God. When the enemy thought that he has locked the church, uh, ref refraining us not to worship God, we could still worship God in our houses. Let us thank God and let us clap to the Lord. Amen. As a family, we are happy. And we thank God because he's a faithful God. Just take one minute. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. So my name is Nicholas Ware. Yeah. I'm the fourth born in my family. And I thank God for this privilege. God bless you. God, um, so I carry on and I bless it to be in this church. Amen. To us, Shangilie, last one wana kuanga waoga, not all. Okay, wana sipiwe. I thank God for this time. I thank God for my husband. And I thank God this far. God has really continued to lift him. And that's something that personally I thank God. And I know that as a servant of God, I always tell him that the more you, you commit yourself to the Lord, the more God continues to use you. So I thank God because indeed uh, God has been working through him. And I know that our prayer is as a family that may, be, may we be found righteous when the Lord uh, Jesus Christ will be coming. And this coming is just soon and very soon. So let us be ready. To, to, to receive God and to be ready is to walk in righteousness is to walk in holiness is to be ready all the time because our spiritual warfare is not of flesh and blood but it's, of, it's our spiritual warfare in the book of Ephesians the Bible tells us that our spiritual warfare is not of flesh and blood but spiritual warfare we are uh, fighting powers of darkness rulers of the air powers of evil one because I thank God for the government because Actually, when we pray, we are also praying for them. And I thank God for them for enabling our the counties to continue, uh, the five counties to continue meeting at the place of worship. That is something that I thank God, and we, it is something that is pleasing, and I know that God is the one who has done this, not, not by the, the hand of man, but it's the hand of God. So let us just pray for our preacher as he comes forth to uh, bring us the word of God. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, this morning. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Father, this fact that you have taken us is because of you. Your grace, your love, your mercy upon our lives. Lord, we have all the reason to worship you and exalt you, Jehovah, Father. This fact you have taken us, this fact you have given us life. You have even taken care of our, of, of our lives. You have provided for us. You have protect us from evil at the hand of the enemy. Lord, we thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for each and everyone that's in this place, even them that are part of this family and they are at home. They are wondering what to do, and others, oh, Jehovah, they have given up hope. 
and others, Jehovah Father, they need, they need your intervention. May you continue touching our lives, touching them wherever they are, that they may, oh God, hear your voice and turn back to you, Jehovah Father. Even as the word is, go is going to be preached to us, we pray, may you open our hearts that this word shall be written in, in our hearts, oh God, and shall be useful in our lives, oh Father, that we shall pass it from generation to generation. Thank you, Lord, for the preach of the word. With my husband, Geoffrey, I commit him in thy able hands. I pray that, Father, may you cover him the blood of Jesus. May you anoint him, anoint him. Use him as a vessel to pass this word that you have for us this morning. Father, that, Lord, let him be used as a vessel in a mighty, and a, in a mighty way, oh Jehovah, Father. We come against anything, anything that, that may want to bring destruction to your word. Lord, we refuse it, we bind it, we paralyze it, we put it under our feet in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as you bring forth your word. We open our hearts that we may receive your word. Thank you, Lord, for your servant. May you anoint him. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Once again, I just, I've just forgotten to pray for the, for the uh, tithe and offering. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for the tithe and offering that we have given to you, Jehovah Father. Lord, you know we have been having, uh, people have been passing through hard times, but Lord, that cannot refrain us not to give something, oh God, in your sanctuary. Father, even the hands that have given this tithe and offering, Father, may you bless them. May you open for them the doors, oh Jehovah, they are at their workplace, at their business. Lord, them that do not have jobs, may you open for them jobs. Because silver and gold belongs to each other. We are your children. Lord, may you supply it abundantly to our lives. Thank you, Father. Lord, even as it does your work, Lord, glory and honor is unto you, Jehovah Father. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mike Tuskey, Mike Tuskey. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. It's good to see you again. After that one month of leave, praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I want to believe that when people go for leave, you know, they come back rejuvenated, they come back strong, they come back with fresh strength to work. Praise the Lord. So for me, I believe the one month that we've been away from church physically, it was just but a good time in the book of John, John chapter 11, verses 20 to 21. We'll also read the same John. Uh, the book of St. John 11, and we will uh, skip to verse 32. Praise the Lord. So if you are right there, we can share together. We are reading John Chapter 11. We'll read verse 20. And also we'll skip and read verse 32. This is what the Bible says. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Verse 21, the Bible says, Lord, Mother said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother 
could not have died. Lord, Mother said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even, even now, God will give you whatever you ask. And verse 32, the Bible says, when Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. I repeat it again. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Lord, again we bless your word. Thank you for the reading of your word. And as we share from it, O oh God, may you speak to our hearts in a special way. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. This morning, I'm a asubuya leo. I just want to rekindle your understanding of who God is. I want to rekindle your understanding of what God is. Ama kwa maneno mengine, kilo ningataka tukaweze kuseme sana subu ya leo. Ningataka tukaweze kuwasha moto kwa ile ufahamu wetu wa Mungu ni nani ama tunamuelewa Mungu kivipi what is your understanding of god in other words who is god or what is god praise the lord of course this is a question that is not very easy to answer and I'm not asking you to answer me, but I'm just asking you to reflect on it. What is utakubena nami kwamba kuna watu ambao wanaamini Mungu kwa njia tofauti tofauti tofauti. And if I can maybe try just to go through just some of these world views, you'll discover that these people who believe that there is no God completely. Totally, there is no God. That world is called atheism. They believe that there is completely no God. And this world view, this time of corona, or this time of pandemic, this couch, it seems to to be taking real deep There's also another worldview which believes that yes, there are many gods, many gods. But out of these many gods, only a few are significant. And kuna miungu mingi sana lakini kuna miungu tu chache ambazo zina maana but kuna miungu nyingi sana kuna miungu nyingi that's called polytheism and of course kuna wengine wanaamini ya kwamba there is god but he exists beyond the universe yet but doesn't exist in it he's beyond the universe yet he's not in the universe 
Kuna watu wanaamini hivyo. Kuna Mungu ndio ulimwenguni lakini huyu Mungu hayuko tena. Wanaitwa the daisy. Alafu kuna hawa wengine ambao wanaamini hivi. Ya kwamba man is his own god. Hmm? That those who believe that man is his own god. That I am my own god. Wanaitwa humanism. They believe in themselves. Ya kwamba mimi ni Mungu kivyangu. If I can be able to feed myself, if I can be able to do my own things, if I can be able to walk to town and come back, then I don't need na Mungu. You know they are doubting. If truly there is God, then this God cannot be known. Certainly you cannot know. Wana doubt ndani yao ya kwamba ni kana ni kana kwamba kuna Mungu ndio kunaweza kunawezekano kuna Mungu. Lakini kama kuna Mungu, huyu Mungu wewe ukamjua ufanye nini ufanye nini there's no way you know this God. Hallelujah. Who is far away. And the list goes on and goes on and goes on about the world views of what people believe about God. Or stand about God. And then during this time of the scourge, it is possible that you may have had some of these views whether it is in our offices whatever place we had some of these things we wona semanga kwamba umeokoka tu kuna mungu mnaombanga mungu kwani huyu mungu kwa nini hasiki ati mliomba ile lockdown ikacha tena nyingine imeku kwani huyu mungu wenu hasiki huyu mungu wenu hayupo na kama kweli huyu mungu wenu yuko Tenu huyu Mungu hakuna mtu anamjua, hakuna vilotaweza kumjua. That those things you will hear them being spoken all over all around. And they're not good things to hear. If you do not have a foundation of your knowledge of who God is, it's likely you are likely to be drifted away. You are likely to be carried away you are likely to be confused hmm. Hmm. what is your understanding of god and this is the kind of reflection i would like us to have this morning my dear brother and my dear sister what is our understanding of god who is god to you what is god who is this god? that we all the time we call on him we pray what is your understanding of god praise the lord so with all those many world views that you'll come across that you'll hear this is the pattern shot that i would like us to get very clearly this morning it is impossible hallelujah it is impossible for a finite man a man who is limited to know an infinite god with all those world views that will come across being spoken all over this is the pattern shot that it is impossible or it is hard for man you know to know god who is infinite unless 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 god himself unless god himself chooses to reveal himself Unless God chooses to reveal himself to you, it will be very hard for you 
to understand who God is. Very difficult for you to understand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is very hard for man who is finite, man who is limited. Wanadamu ambaye amepungukiwa. Wanadamu ambaye amepungukiwa. Ni vigumu na huyu mwanadamu kumwelewa Mungu Mungu ambaye hapungukiwi isipokuwa Mungu mwenyewe ambaye hapungukiwi amue kujifunua yeye mwenyewe kwa mwanadamu ya kwamba yeye ni nani and God being God he knew that we are limited not know him it is hard we'll come across situations that will cause us to doubt whether there's God or the God exists or not. He knew. And because he knew of our limitations, he chose to reveal himself to us. And how did he choose to reveal himself to us? He chose to reveal to us in one way. One of the ways is the special revelation. Whereby God has revealed himself to us. Through his living word, Jesus Christ, he has revealed himself through his written word, the Bible, the word of God. In the times we are encouraged to read our Bibles, because through his word, his written word, the Bible, when we read it, we get to understand who God is. Hallelujah. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He helps you to understand who God is. So those people who lack this revelation, who have not accepted this revelation, this special revelation, they will have all those kinds of views. But you who has this special revelation through the written word of God, and through his living word, you should be having a clear understanding of who God is. Praise the Lord. Wana Yesu Azifiwe. Hallelujah. And when I say God has to reveal himself to us through his written word, the Bible. Agree with me this truth that when we read the word of God, when we read the Bible, you know, we get special revelation in the word of God. God reveals to us through his word. And you'll we'll discover as we read the word of God, it talks of many attributes of our God. Many attributes of God. The character of God. In a Zumuza Mabomengi Kuhusu, Mungu, Ambayo inatusaidia kupata ufahamu wa Mungu ni nani? And out of those many attributes of God that we find in the word of God, I would like to share on one. And this is the omniscience of God. God being omniscient. Hallelujah. Mm. Omniscience. All knowing. Mungu ambaye anajua kila kitu. This is an attribute that you read in Isaiah. If you read in Isaiah 46.10, you'll discover this attribute of God. He is omniscience. Isaiah 46 says, I make known the end from the beginning. Hallelujah. I make known the end from the beginning. This 
is an attribute of our God, which talks about who our God is. That he knows the end from the beginning. What does this mean to us? This is my understanding of that, that attribute of God. That God knows and understands all things. Mungu anajua na anafahamu kila kitu. He knows the end from the beginning. All things, all events, he knows and he understands all events that take place in this life. He knows. He understands. He knows and he understands people. All people. He understands them. The people that will come across. Some that will react to you in some fashion. God knows them. All of them. He understands them. And this is God. An attribute of God, being omniscience, all, all knowing God, He knows everything. Hmm. In other words, God being omniscience, He knows everything, and everything about everything He knows. He knows everything, and everything about everything. He knows. And he knows them independently. In other words, this God who is omniscient, he does not need some special information, some people to come and you know, give him information. He knows everything about everything. He knows. He doesn't need, you know, some people somewhere to come and brief him that God. No! It's not like our world kings who will employ special intelligence to be on the ground to find out for, for, for them you know, what is happening, and meet the king at state house and tell him, oh, today we spy in Kibera, and this is what you were able to collect around and to find out this is what's happening. No! He doesn't need special intelligence to fill him with information. No! This is our God, omniscient God, all-knowing God. He doesn't need to be fed with the information. Hallelujah. This God who is omniscient that you read in the Bible, his knowledge is inherent in nature. Meaning, God has not gone to school has not gone through a system called 844. Neither has he gone to that rich system of education to acquire knowledge. God has not gone to school to acquire knowledge. His knowledge is inbuilt, is inherent, is in him, it is his nature. That is our God. He doesn't need to go to school to acquire knowledge. This is God. So who are you to question God? And that's why the Bible calls man to be limited. We are limited. We are finite. We are limited. This omniscient God that we read about in the Bible 
in his written word. He's God who has foreknowledge. He has got the awareness of something before it happens or before it exists. Before anything happens, before anything exists, before Corona came into this world, before Corona exists, before you were sad, before you were empty, before anything happens, he has got a full knowledge. He knows. He is aware before it happens. So don't think that because this and this has happened, it's like God had gone to sleep. God had gone to sleep. He was overtaken by that event. No! He has full knowledge. He knows. And if you can understand this attribute of God, surely my brother, you live in this world, very happy person. Very happy person. Knowing that I know God who is all-knowing. No situation comes my way that finds him my surprise. No! He has full knowledge. Praise the Lord. Bwana Jesus, if you are sana. That is our God. Anajua kila kitu. Kuhusu kila kitu. Kwanjia ya kipeke. Anajua kila kitu. Anajua kila hali. Anajua kila jambo. Kwanjia ya kipeke. Bwana sifiwa sana. Now, with this attribute of God in mind, I want us to go back to the portion of scripture that we read. John chapter 11. And there's a reason why I chose deliberately to read those two portions. John 11, 21 and John 11, 32. There's a deliberate reason as to why I chose that we read those two portions of scripture. And the reason is this. When you read John 11, 21, and read John 11, 32, you'll discover that there is a, re a remarkable similarity to the words of these two sisters, Martha and Mary. There's a remarkable similar similarity. And this is what we see uh, Mary saying, I mean uh, Martha saying to the Lord Jesus in verse 21. This is what Martha says. Lord, if you had been here, Lord, if you had been here, my brother will not have died. Well, he has died. But I know that even whatever you ask of God, he'll give it to you. But God, if only you were here, my brother will not have died. And when she goes back to the house and calls the sister who was in the house and tells Mary, Mary, the master is here. He's calling. And then when the sister Mary calls to Jesus, the Bible says, as she falls before his knees, before Jesus, she speaks the same words. Lord! If you have been here, 
my brother will not have died. These are portions of scripture in the Bible that I read with a lot of power. And I desire that when we read this kind of portions of scripture, we could understand the kind of tonation and the body language these people were using. I'm just imagining the kind of facial expression Mary and Martha had when they Jesus, if only you were here, our brother would not have died. I wish I could get the real facial expression of this. Get an understanding of what they really meant by these words. Lord, if only you were here, my brother would not have died. Oh, oh, Lord, if only we prayed during that last session, Corona would not have died. Jesus. What is your understanding of God, my brother, my sister? What is your understanding of God, my brother and my sister? If only, Lord, you are here, my brother would not have died. What a coincidence of statements. Are these two sisters giving To us, that it is a subject that they were discussing since, ever since their brother died. That seems to suggest so. Immediately their brother died, and they had called for Jesus to come, and Jesus took longer to come. Jesus comes after their brother has been. Buried four days in the grave, smelling. He comes too late. I'm just imagining that was the subject of discussion when they were alone mourning their brother. No, look, Mary. Oh, no, look, Martha. This Jesus, he was such a friend to our family. He was such a big friend to our brother. Lazarus was his real friend. How come we can call for him and he doesn't come? Is this truly a friend? Is this truly a friend to us? A subject of discussion. Every time they were remembering their brother Lazarus and every effort that they were making to have him knowing that they had a friend, the Lord Jesus, who was witnessed doing miracles, helping people. They had such great faith in him. They knew this is a friend besides being, you know, the Lord, the healer. He's a friend. When we call for him, he'll come run immediately. But it takes time to take. Because of this, what I'm imagining to have been happening or going through them when Jesus resurfaces, when the man settled, the has been buried, they confront him with this question. Lord, if only you came, our brother would not have died. And that's why I'm desiring, I wish I could know the facial expression, the body language of these sisters when they were telling Jesus this. And because I don't really get it, I can just imagine what their facial expression was like. And this is what I try to imagine. It is possible.
possible that they were not my only mother in the hour of need. Where were you, God, when my house was burning? Where were you? Where were you? We ask questions and questions and questions one after the other. Blame God. Reason because we do not ask. A human reason. We are limited. And therefore, let God Himself reveals Himself to you, reveals Himself to us to understand who exactly He is. Will make many and many and many mistakes in this life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What am I speaking to us this morning, my brother and my sister? As I become, I just want to rekindle your understanding of God is. God is. It's not only God to you, to us, when things are behaving well, when, well, when all is well, when our fridges are full of food, to the point of even some of the food we are throwing away, because there's no space. I remember of a friend who will be forever a friend, so filled the fridge with food stuffs and uh, what happened is that power went off for some time and of course fridges rely on power steamer and the fridge you know and the food in the fridge had to go bad so he had to throw away the food because he trusted in himself I'm able but that one who trusted in the Lord, who doesn't have, who lives on one day at a time, you live every day, each time. You only have enough money for now and for this minute. So you lie on God. If you ask me today, where will the school fees for my kids come from? I don't know. I only know God who supplied, who provided last time. This time I'm only looking for and I'm trusting on him. Praise the Lord. This is the God that we ought to know. Omniscient God. All-knowing God. He knows everything about everything. Knows. He knows everything about everything independent. And I wish these are truth that will grasp this morning. A truth that will propel us to the next level of life. Even as much as we are praying that the country and you no know, life comes back to normalcy. You never know what else will group up. You never know. When we were here the other year, Kesha, we never knew that something like that. I knew. Heard our bishop say here that this announcement got us unawares. Last Sunday, did we know that we're here today gathering physically for worship? No, we didn't know. But God knew that a time like this, this Sunday today, 2nd of May 2021, we'll be gathered here together physically. What we God? He knew, He foreknew, He 
knows everything about everything. Independently, he knows. He, he knows what is going to happen tomorrow. He knows. He knows your tomorrow, my brother. You don't need to be worried. You don't need to be worried. Mm. Enjoy your sleep, my brother. Enjoy your sleep. Sleep well, soundly. Knowing that God knows my tomorrow. He holds, he handles my tomorrow. Hold on to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Coming back to the text as I finish. These two sisters, I also wonder how they felt when they saw their brother back to life again. I don't know how they felt. And especially if their question of asking Jesus, if only Jesus you had been here, our brother would not have died. If only the reason was, you know, finding mistakes or blaming Jesus. If you are saying that statement to blame Jesus, I what felt when this same Jesus brought their brother back to life. I don't know how they felt, but I can imagine that they must have felt so stupidly. They must have felt so limited, so limited, so limited. Having blamed God, God come on time, and now their brother is alive again. I don't know how they felt. And those people who are maybe thinking now will all be, you know, crushed by this corona, will all be crumbled. I don't know. How they feel today when they see life still going on. Of course, that those who are saying now it will be so worse for the for the poor. Those who live hand to mouth, it will be so bad for them. God has made in a such a way that He has secured their lives. And this is what God is. Omniscient God. All-knowing God. He knows everything about everything and as an independent thing, he knows that is the God we serve. And therefore, my brother and my sister, I do not want to take any longer. I believe God has spoken to you. You know that that you consider like it's already dead. You consider that it's like Jesus is too late to come. To the point you're saying even he doesn't need to come. To the point you are almost agreeing with those wild views that God doesn't exist. To the point that you are almost agreeing world views that God if we have at all is then nobody can know God I don't know what this one is but that's why I'm here that's why the Lord has given us this message to rekindle your understanding of who God is can we rise up all together This morning, I would like us to make some serious prayer. Some serious prayer. The other day, I was hearing our senior pastor, I was just following him up while he was preaching here. And it was, it was like uh, uh, trying to, to encourage us 
come to church when the, the churches are open. And if you had it's like the people who already have given up coming to church. They don't have any test anymore. They have no passion for the things of God. They have gone through passions that have pulled them down. They no longer see God as somebody, as a person who exists. They never see God as God who is able. Because of situations, in circumstances that they pass through. That's the joy of the devil. That is his joy. To feel like so. To drift away. The truth. Mm. And therefore this message comes to you. Such a person. You will kindle your understanding of God. Turn back to him. And if possible, come back to him with repentance. Tell God, forgive me, Lord. I said this because I was limited. I'm limited as a man. I didn't know what I was saying. I was overwhelmed by my circumstance. And therefore, God, I, had, I asked you many questions that I ought not to have asked you, God. Forgive me, God. He is a faithful God to forgive you. The Bible says, when Lazarus was restored back to life, his glory was seen. When you turn back to God, you'll see his glory. That whatever you feel that you have lost, God is going to resurrect it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And therefore, I would like us to go before the Lord. We had some great team here. You can come, Peter, you can come. We just want to have a few minutes just in the presence of the Lord. I don't need to push you. Nobody needs to push you. You know. And you can't lie to God. You know what you've gone through. The kind of experiences you've gone through. And the way you have limited God. You know. You understand yourself. This is your, it's a message for you as a person. To reflect on. For the Lord. Tell God, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. And he is faithful to forgive you.
Just go before the Lord. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Oh, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. They could not connect. Nambiwa, tunajua, siku ya dahari, watu watakupuka. But Jesus was saying, the one who resurrected people that time is already here with you. Nandiyo waelewe, wakamuambia Lazarus, toka. Lazarus na toka. Wapendo atukuji hapa kufanya mzaha, the owner of this building is here. Yes. Na nakuja hapa kukutana na watu wa? Watu wake. Watu wake. Mm. This is where we get answers to our needs. Yes. Mpendwa kama hujaokoka na umekuja hapa leo. Kuja hapa tukuombe. Amen. Don't waste time manake kwenda kesho huko yona. Mm. Kuja tukuombe uokoke. Siku Amen. ya leo sasa hivi. Amen. Na kama unahitaji, you are jobless, umekuwa na hitaji, huoni suluhisho na kwambia usizungumze na mafa ya kwamba kabla sijafutwa ungelinisaidia hata kama umefutwa god can give you another job Amen. god can open doors you don't think about njoo hapa tukuombe manake hapa mwenyewe yuko hapa tukutana na mahitaji ya mwenye wa watu wake if you have a need come quickly to this place to open kabla tumalizie kama hujaokoka njoo tukuombe uokoke this is the time to minister to people njoo hapa na usifikiria kwamba nguvu za Mungu zimepungua. Hazijapungua. Even when things look like they are late, God is still able to bring the direction in Jesus name. Hata kama wana mambo yamekuwa too late. It is not too late. God can still be able to do this. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
You cannot help yourself. You are That's why we pray. Amen. For one about the Kujama men, Kunamoja Jaoka and Takoka, you know, Kunayote Jaoka, but we will come out Jaoka. Is there anybody up on the Kuja Kajia or Kov? You know, I'm Kono to Kuombe once. Asante Joe Hapame. Asante Joe Hapame. And we are going to pray. Now, God answers prayer. And when we come here, we don't come here to joke. Mungu way to Yuko high. And he answers prayer. How are what was sema ungelikuwa uko hapa ndugu yetu hangelikuwa. Yesu anachelewa maksudi ndio onyeshe hata wakati ya mekufa. Hata mkamzika na mkasahau. I can still bring him up alive. Na wewe hata kama unaona hauna tumaini. Wakati huu hauoni tumaini ndipo mungu anakucha. Praise the Lord. Tumekuwa tukiombea kijana wangu kazi for a long time. Nasema kuna ma, mambo ya corona na whatever. Wakati tumekufa mwe na kuna ni kama imekusha. Dada yake na mpigia na muambia na kampuni. Lani endo karipoki. Right now he's watching. Amen. God. Glory to Jesus. God can work miracles. Glory to Jesus. God can work miracles. So ni na pokuambia ukuti ya patasisi uleta rohoze tumbele. Manake we also have needs as pastors. Tunapokuambia kuja tamina mwambia mungu wata mimi roho yangu kwa api? Hapa. Because I also have that need. I have that need. Na mungu hatuwa ibishi. Inaeza kuchukua muda, but God answers. You have come to the living God. Usiju kasema, kama. Hainge likuwa. Kama, aa. God is able to raise the situation from the dead. Bring it alive. Wale mekuja hapa mbele, hakuna uamuzi umefanya wa maana kama huku wa kuokoka. Mimi niliokoka 1982 na mpaka sasa nafurahia Mungu. Nitarudia nyuma yangu. Sawa sawa. Funga macho. Sema mwenyezi Mungu. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Na tupu dhambi zangu siku ya leo. Naomba uingie kwa moyo wangu. Utawale maisha yangu. Kutoka siku ya leo na kuendelea nipatie nguvu na uwezo wa kuishi maisha matakatifu na kumpinga shetani katika maisha yangu ili niishi maisha matakatifu asante kwa kuniokoa katika jina la Yesu naomba amen Mungu wetu abariki sasa nataka kuomba wale tumekuja tumuinulie mkono wana tunapofanya haya maombi hata nyinyi ni Mwenyezi Mungu waliokuja hapa wamekuja manake wana mahitaji Wangelikuwa na suluhisho hawangelikuja hapa Lakini wanakuja mbele manake tunajua kwamba we ni Mungu uliye hai na wewe ni Mungu ujibuye maombi Hii mikono tunakuinuliwa ni wewe tunainulia Bwana Ya kwamba wewe kama jinsi ulivyo muamsha lovers Mwenyezi mungu wata sasa hii maitaji naenda kutana nayo Na tunapokea hizi suluhisho katika jina la yesu Kwa imani tunapokea sasa katika jina la yesu Shetani hana nafasi katika maisha yetu 
tunatembea na kumwamuru atoke katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu roho wa Mungu atawale maisha yetu jamii zetu biashara zetu na hata pale tumeachiliwa na kwa imani tumepokea miujiza wetu in Jesus name we pray amen bidia Yesu makofu hallelujah bidia Yesu makofu hapa tujaondoka hapa tujaondoka just before we go wale tumekuja na mahitaji nitakuomba ufanye kitu it may look like it is foolish but please wewe nikubali tu nifanyie tu unapoenda usiombe tena enda ukishukuru Mungu amen sasa unaenda kumwambia asante Mungu nimeenda kuombewa kazi na hiyo kazi nimeipokea katika jina la Yesu kulifanya hivyo about 3 4 months back kuna dada alikuwa anataka kufau shuhuda hatakuwa na nafasi lakini alisema bado anataka kuja but because she is not here let me give you the testimony alipokuja hapa alikuwa na shida ya afya mbaya sana very bad nilikuwa nimemtesa for about 6 months na tulipo omba akasikia mara moja imekauka na akifika nyumbani she was totally totally amen him. amen praise the lord tunapoomba hapa hatujui ni kitu gani and it is not important for me to know but there's a god in heaven hata kabla ukuje hapa anajua kile kinakusonga lakini kukuambia ukuje hapa ni kukuambia uchukue hatu ya kumwambia Mungu nimekuja manake najua you can answer and therefore you have received your answer bidia yesu makofi haleluya haleluya kwa hiyo watatu nitaomba muende na huyu shimanzi linet can you help us our new standing in kuniko standing in kuniko Praise the Lord. Amen. Najua tumechelewa na pengine umechelewa huko umetoa sadaka yako. Tunataka kunyima hiyo baraka ya kutoa sadaka. If we can have one offering bag tuweke hapa hivi. Tukiwa tu tumesimama kama haujatoa sadaka na umechelewa unataka kutolea Mungu. Harakisha tu njoo hapa hivi unaweza kuleta kabla tujaondoka. Kama haujatoa nitaomba waimbaji watupatie praise moja ya kushukuru Mungu before we say the words of the grace. Amen. Waimbaji Shangilia bwana bwana Shangilia bwana mitenda machafu Shangilia bwana bwana Shangilia bwana mitenda machafu Shangilia bwana Shangilia bwana mitenda machafu Shangilia bwana Shangilia
Asanteni sana waimbaji. Hey, that was good. Karibu niseme tuendelee kidogo lakini. <laughs> Asanteni sana kwa kuja. Kuwakumbushi kwa wale wamekuja kuchelewa. Kesho mande tutakuwa hapa saa 12 kwa ajili ya maombi yetu ya kawaida kama kanisa. Wednesday tutakuwa na midweek service saa 12 hadi saa moja kama kawaida. Lunch wa fellowship tumesema tutaanza Wednesday. Manake Wednesday ni siku yetu ya maombi tutakuja saa saba mpaka saa nane lunch wa meeting hiyo itakuwa ya maombi alafu tutakuja Thursday na Friday na tutaendelea kama kawaida. Amen. Bila kufunga macho bila kufunga macho niangalie na ufungue mdomo kama mamba weka full volume tunataka kusema neema na sasa neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na Mungu baba na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu uwe nasi sasa na hata milele amen amen pigia Yesu makofi jamani hey. haleluya sasa Usiende kama mshale patia mtu kagoto. Amen. Mwambie na kupenda ndugu katika Bwana unapoenda nyumbani. Hale. God bless all of you. Ninae baba yangu asiyeshindwa kambo. Ninae baba yangu asiyeshindwa kambo. Yesu ni baba yangu asiyeshindwa kambo. Mwambie mara hawezi shinda. Ninae baba yangu Yesu ni baba yangu asiyeshinda kamili 